Hello Cloud Builders and welcome back to our channel. I hope you already subscribed and you have alerts turned on for this. We are going to talk today about Amazon Translate and how can you add translation to your application with just a few lines of code. Here we go. So Amazon Translate is one of our AI services. I already did a few episodes regarding those services and you're more than welcome to look at other videos in this channel. And the idea behind the AI services is that it allows you to take this capability of translation, image recognition, or text-to-speech and add it to your application with just a few lines of code without actually knowing how this type of uh, machine learning mechanism works behind the scene. And with translation, you can add those capabilities to your application. You can use it uh, in websites and many other scenarios. I'm going to show you a few examples in a few minutes. And what we're looking at right now is the main console of Amazon Translate. And I won't show you how to use it uh, in the console, although it's very, very simple. Uh, you can go and do real-time translation with the console just by putting text in different languages and getting translations. I want to show you how to use it programmatically. And I would like to start with CLI. So right now I'm in my CLI interface. I have AWS CLI installed inside my account. It's fully configured with all my credentials and I have permissions to access different services, including Amazon Translate. Now I would like to execute a translation command using my CLI. So I'm using AWS Translate, Translate Text. This is the API I'm going to call. I need to provide this API several parameters. First one is my source language code. In this case, I'm gonna use auto and let the API to decide which is, which is the source language automatically. Target language will define the target language of the translation and text will define the text that I would actually like to translate. If you can't read this text, this is not your fault. This, this, this text is in Hebrew and I'm going to translate this first to English. So I'm gonna execute this command and as you can see, just a few seconds later, I'm getting a translation. Good morning, everyone. If I'm going to change my target language now to something else, let's say uh, Spanish. Now I'm getting the translation into Spanish. And I can play with it, and this is very simple. You can use this from your command line interface and create all kinds of solutions that need to translate something very short, very small. I want to show you a slightly different example with some Python code I'm running on my machine. I have a Python script called translate underscore all dot pi, uh, dot pi and this script is expecting a string. So I'm going to execute this one and what I'm going to get right now is a translation for several languages that I defined in my screen in my script for this specific string. And the code behind the scenes is super simple. We're talking just about a few lines of code. You can see here that We'll take the arguments, in this case, the text to translate. I'm defining the languages that I would like to use for the translation engine. I'm using the flags just to have a nice visual effect, nothing beyond that. And I'm running a single API call. My API call of uh, translate text includes the power method that I just defined. It will go send the string to Amazon Translate, get the response. The response is coming in JSON format. I just need to pass it and print it out and I'm done. And you can use the same technique in many different languages. We have more than 13 different uh, SDKs that you can actually access different AWS services with those SDKs. This is just one example in Python, but obviously you can do it in uh, JavaScript, you can do it in .NET, and many, many other languages. So this is one way to use it. Integrate Amazon Translate, the API call, into your code. I want to show you just another example. So I have a very simple website here that includes a very short version of my CV. This website is written in English only. You'll have to believe me or just look at the code. I'm going to share it later on. And I want to have this website available to visitors in different languages. So what I'm using here is Amazon Translate with some JavaScript uh, calls uh, using the JavaScript SDK to translate this website on the fly each time somebody is accessing it and requ request a different language. So this one is the main version in English. If I'm going to use, if I'm going to click on the Spanish flag, I'm going to get the version of the website in Spanish. If I want to get it in Japanese, just click the Japanese flag. I have no idea what's written here. And this is my Hebrew version. I can tell you uh, that it's actually pretty good. And if you want to see behind the scenes how this exactly works. So this is relatively simple code. 
with just few lines of code in JavaScript. And this is the function that uh, gets triggered uh, each time I'm clicking one of the flags. It will check if the language is different than English. So it actually knows that if it's different than English, I need to initiate my translation. It will take the different parts of the website, and I have several parts here, the title, the text itself, and will create a JavaScript variables out of them, and then use those strings and send them to Amazon Translate. I'm using a, a translation function that will actually go and translate my text. Uh, then after getting the response, this is the actual translation, the call to translate text. After getting the response, I'm going to update the HTML once again with very simple JavaScript. And here you go. We have a translated version of the website to any of the languages I have here. Obviously, I can add more languages. <coughs> there are plenty of languages for Amazon Translate, and you're more than welcome to use them all. If you want to see how this works exactly behind the scenes, I'm sharing right now the link to my GitHub repository. Look for AWS Translate uh, demo. This is uh, the, where I store all the code for all the demos in this session. Hope you enjoyed this session. Hope you're going to keep follow this channel for additional AWS videos. Thank you very much for watching. See you next time. Bye-bye. <laughs>